Goats and herders have been companions since ancient times in Inner Mongolia, and around 70 years ago, locals started selecting and raising particular breeds of goats for cashmere production. Fast forward 30 years, some of the first cashmere production facilities started popping up in the Dongcheng district of Ordos city in Inner Mongolia. And now, around a quarter of cashmere products come from this city. Here, cashmere is king. It's known locally as soft gold, and Ordos is known as the cashmere capital of China. And I'm here at the 7th China International Cashmere and Wool Exhibition. So come with me as we find out just how important cashmere is to this wonderful city. This is my second time in Ordos. This time in the exhibition, I saw different local brands and got to touch and feel a variety of locally produced high quality cashmere products. They're all so soft and fashionable. The exhibition was not only attended by local suppliers, there was also some friendly foreign places too. I've seen so many uh, uh, incredibly beautiful things and I tell everybody, come to Europe, please come to Europe. <laughs> we have nothing like this here. You have such great quality. We need it because it's cold in the winter, we, this is a material that you can use close to the skin, yeah. our wool is scratchy, so we need this kind of soft, soft and light uh, wool. Yeah, well. I'm sure yeah. that it, it, it will uh, be uh, a big, big, big hit in big, the, yeah. the home, home uh, in and interior. Can you tell me some key information about the brand that you're here with today? Okay, our raw material from Inner Mongolia, mm -hmm. and so we sell to Italy. It's okay. Like, yes. So yes, you get all of your cashmere fibers from Inner Mongolia, but then you produce the products in Italy. In Italy. Wow. Also, okay. Yeah. Because it's really high quality product, so you can use it for many years. And you can pass it down from a mother to a daughter, grandmother. Yes, of course. Yeah, yes, so it's a high quality product, of course, and uh, it's so soft. Yeah, very, very, very <laughs> yes, soft. Yes, yes, yes. What's your role here? I'm the president of the Association of Designers of France. Wow. I promote the exchange between China and France and uh, try to help Chinese companies to improve the design of the compounds. And uh, I think the level of the compound is high level, but Sometimes design is, is not reach a cell level and after it's difficult to sell the such clothes in France or in Europe. Mm -hmm. And I think with a good design it should be better. So you take the quality of the Chinese product yes. and mix it with the design yes. of French products. One possibility to do this gap to the bridge is the association to to have a direct contact with the between company and designer. Second uh, idea is to do the exhibition at Paris. How are you finding this exhibition? Have you seen a lot of um, different companies here? Yes, I have done the tour and uh, we do a uh, lot of contacts. Uh, yes. Well, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. How can these local cashmere companies become a dark horse in the market? I went to some local cashmere factories to investigate. So, can you tell me some key facts and figures about the company that you own? Our <laughs> 我们的羊肉原料最细的可以达到十四点几微米。我们拥有自己的生产厂房，自个儿的销售渠道，自己的研发团队。现在逐渐在介绍海外销售队伍。What kind of advantages do you think that your company has against other companies that you are competing with? 这是好多人传说最大的问题，就第一个就是起球的问题，第二个就是不好储存、不好打理的问题。我们针对这两个行业当中的痛点，我们研究了七年。Speaking to them, you can see that the quality of Ordos cashmere is recognized overseas, and Ordos is making more efforts to connect with the international market. In its new drive to expand on the industrial chain, increase added value, and expand on the global market, the city aims to enhance global cooperation and trade, hoping to write a new chapter in its development era.